While communities are still cleaning up from, from the flooding, some people are still looking for their pets that were lost in last week's storms. Yeah, thanks to some local volunteers and their technology, many owners aren't searching alone. NBC 5's Amanda Martin Ryan is in Waterbury tonight, which is part of the area covered by the Central Vermont Canine Recovery. Amanda. Yeah, Brian, Liz, the nonprofit says that since last week's flooding, all of the cats that were reported missing to them are still unaccounted for and two dogs are also still lost. But the good news, two other dogs have been found and were reunited with their owners. Report it as fast as you can. If possible, snap a picture. Central Vermont Canine Recovery offering their free services after last week's storms, encouraging people to spread word about their work and the animals they're looking for. We use a lot of social media presence. We use road signs and then um, just creating awareness in the areas that these dogs are potentially roaming. In order to cover as much ground as possible and as quickly as possible, the group recruited help from Rob Russell, who is one of five people in New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine and Massachusetts with a drone service business. Primarily working with members of their volunteer group and primarily just surveying the, the washouts, the riverbeds, looking for animals. Russell ended up staying in Vermont for days and with damage from the floods already enough of a challenge, he says picking up a dog's body temperature through the drone's thermal detection was complicated by the hot air outside. What we did was we would do some of our searches either super early in the morning or we would go out past midnight. The sad reality is the process doesn't always have the outcome many are hoping for. This week, volunteers shifted their efforts from rescue to recovery, focusing on spreading awareness for the pet still unaccounted for. So if you're near one of the communities hit hard by floods this summer, keep your eyes out for bright signs and the animal posted on it. So we have our number, a photo of the missing animal, um, and we try to make them as, as visually, you know, kind of in your face as possible. <laughs> If you are missing a pet, Central Vermont Canine Recovery wants to help. And again, their services are free. They're also looking to add to their network of volunteers. So if you're looking to help out, you can check out their Facebook page or our website, mynbc5.com, for more information. Live in Waterbury, Amanda Martin-Ryan, NBC5 News.